Desertification can affect people's lives quite dramatically, so those areas at risk need to be managed in order to minimise this impact. There are a number of ways in which land can be managed sustainably in order to allow people to prosper without environmental damage. For farming to be successful in deserts, irrigation is required. Canals and underground sources can be used, but too much irrigation can lead to salinization. High rates of evaporation drawing more water with high salinity levels upwards, depositing salts on the surface. To manage this, contour traps can be used. Embankments on contours that hold water and reduce erosion. Ponding banks can also be used. These are areas of land enclosed by low walls, storing water for future use. Low stone walls sometimes known as magic stones or buns, have been used in countries from Burkina Faso to Jordan. These are basic, but trap water and reduce soil erosion, thus maintaining soil fertility. Crop yields can be increased by up to 50%, and the rates of desertification are reduced significantly. Water that is trapped between the low stone walls can be used for appropriate plants, like Artriplex, a plant that can bind the soil together, allowing more plants to grow and attract butterflies and birds. The Artriplex is also good for goats to graze on. Planting the right types of trees is also important in reducing erosion. Tree roots bind the soil together, whilst leaves provide much needed fodder for animals. Wood can be used for building as well as fuel. The Prosopis cineraria is one such tree that has been used successfully in the Thar Desert. National parks like the 3,000 km squared Desert National Park in the Thar Desert help by protecting large areas of land at risk from desertification. Appropriate technology like building buns or planting the correct types of vegetation is critical in ensuring areas at threat from desertification are protected for the future. <laughs>